Just take a few big deep breaths down into your nose, <coughs> out your mouth, into your nose, out your mouth. Enjoy every minute of this experience. Okay? This was truly a big day in Croke Park for more than 1,000 young girls, their coaches, their parents and their clubs. A day when they became the stars on the field of dreams. Yeah, 64 clubs, um, all the provinces rep represented, about 1,200 girls, it's just fantastic. Is that a record? Uh, it is for us. Um, we've been really a lot of organising going into today. Um, it's a fantastic achievement. Uh, it's fantastic to have them here and we're hoping that we, they have lots of fun but they're giving them big memories as well to take away from today. Absolutely fantastic. To be able to walk through from outside, through the changing rooms, out through the tunnel onto the pitch was just amazing. And you can see all the girls looking around, just eyes wide open. So it was a super day. Absolutely fantastic. Maria O'Neill, 12 years old from Clontarf, what was that experience like today for you? It was amazing because I haven't been here before, so it was kind of a dream come true. The pitch is unbelievable. You, know, you don't see it properly from up on TV or on from the stands, but when you're down on them, it's just an unbelievable pitch. And just the girls were able to play clean hurling, get it up easily, strike it easily, and they just had a ball out there today. It was really amazing. And like my mom, like she's proud of me and all. And then my dad's here helping as well, so we're kind of all in this together. Did you have time to look around you when you were playing? Did you take it all in? Not really, no. I still can't really take it all in that I'm here. But um, hopefully it'll kind of come back to me tomorrow. What do you think this experience might do for the young girls to keep playing Camogie? I think this is the kind of thing that will keep them playing. We had a queue of girls to get in and play today, so... We got as many as we could here today. There was a few away in Hollies who would be horrified that they've missed this and wish they were here today. So hopefully next year we can bring a bigger squad and it's on again next year to be back again. Will this keep you playing, Camogie? It definitely will, yeah. I, like, I'll play all my life now, trying to get an experience like this again. So. To play on the hallowed ground of Crow Park, we played all our lives, never got the opportunity. It's fantastic. They don't realise it yet, but when they're older, they'll realise what an opportunity. And what were the girls saying to you afterwards? Oh, excellent. But you have to remember last night when they couldn't sleep. That's when you realise they just, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait the excitement of Crow Park, watching the hurling yesterday and going, oh, I'm going to be playing there tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's just fantastic. A former Derry and Ulster hurler, Ollie Collins, who played in Croke Park a few years ago, was there to watch his daughters take the opportunity to walk in his footsteps. Um, it was a good experience just to play in Croke Park and play with other girls my age and just a good experience. And Carla, how did you enjoy it and what did Dad tell you about playing here? Um, he told me always to focus on the ball and always concentrate. And Dad, how did the girls do? And what was it like for you as Dad watching them here? Well, uh, the, the girls done absolutely brilliantly, brilliantly. Um, and it was great to see Lava here and under under 12 Camogiers and hopefully they'll be back in the near future. Well, I just want to say thank you to my trainers. They put a, an, an incredible amount of work in. And we also got into Temple Stadium this year as well. So it was a really good year. It's been amazing absolutely brilliant um, when we heard uh, a few months ago that we were selected um, it created a huge amount of excitement between all the kids um, training numbers wise everything just shot through the roof um, all we were talking about is when we we're going and it was well worth the trip up it was absolutely fantastic um, to play in a pitch like this is just it's a lifetime's dream for for mentors even just to go out there and look at it and be part of it yes it was just amazing brilliant yeah really worth it really really worth it Talk to me about what Crow Park means to you. I don't know if you know any relatives who have played there or anyone's played there, but for you to follow that and to play here today, what's that meant to you? Uh, well, my auntie Pauline O'Brien played here uh, the, against Dublin, against the rest of Ireland, and she was really proud of me. So, yeah, it just means a lot. Did you look around you when you were playing, or what was it like? Yeah, I couldn't stop looking at all the seats and everything and wondering what it would be like for the people who do play in this pitch every Sunday. Yeah. And would it make you think about trying to get back here sometime? Yeah, definitely. I'd love to. 
Yeah, like we have 25 counties um, represented today and we're hoping that there's girls playing here today who will go on to play for their county and who knows in a couple of years time those girls will come back here and be playing for the county in senior or intermediate or, or junior or Ireland finals and they'll be able to say that the first time that they got to play in Crow Park was that come on to Croker and that's what we're hoping, you know. How important is it for the clubs, not just the players who might come back, but everybody involved in the clubs? Yeah, it's fantastic for the clubs because it gives everybody a lift. And what we want to have for, for people involved in the game at Camogie, not just players, but parents, coaches, uh, officers of the club, is we want them to have positive experiences of playing Camogie. And this is a positive experience. And the amount of goodwill that the clubs are generating by coming up here today, and we're hoping that will live long for them and you know that the club will go from strength to strength after today. And from the Camogie Association point of view, a lot of work has gone into make this day possible. Yeah, I mean, the amount of organisation has gone into today, but this started way back in, in May and June when the provinces organised uh, command, to, command to Provinces. And the one person that's been instrumental in the organisation of this is Caroline Murray, our uh, Projects and Events uh, Coordinator. She's been, been fantastic and all the clubs have had deities with Caroline and she's really led this and it's all her hard work that today has come to fruition. And a credit must go to her and to everybody in the development team for the amount of work in preparing for today.